Good morning. I've got you kind of close today because my voice is still coming back, which is why you didn't see any videos last week. I have been sick for a week and a half and my voice is just starting to come back today. I am still coughing a lot, so I'm sure I'm going to be editing coughs out in weird places in this video. And if I seem not as smiley as usual because all the congestion is just sitting on my nose, but I have a haul for you today and I'm so excited to be back on camera even though it may not look like I am. <laughs> I have five new sunscreens. Two of, two of them I've been already trying out and three I haven't even opened yet. I caught some of the Ultacell and some of the Sephora Cell in the month of April. So I wanted to try out some new sunscreens for you all. If you'd like to see dedicated videos about each of these sunscreens, let me know. I always forget to ask you guys to subscribe to my channel. <laughs> Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. So if you'll do that now, I would greatly appreciate it. I'm trying to reach 500 subscribers because then I get access to the community tab, which allows me to post like when I'm sick and also when I see sunscreen deals. I'm also going to be doing a live stream at 500 subscribers. So You'll want to be there for that. Okay, this first one that I've been wanting to try out, I'm so excited, is the Hawaiian Tropic Mineral Translucent Sunscreen Powder SPF 30. It has 24.5% titanium, no, not titanium dioxide, zinc oxide. <laughs> And it's like this, it's a little brush like this. And I imagine using this on top of my makeup for touch-ups. And I have already been testing this out and I hope to have a video out soon. But you just kind of go like this. And you tap it on. It is 0.15 ounces. I'm gonna pop up how much I paid for each of these sunscreens. I will pop them up on the screen. This is not a water resistant sunscreen and it does not have a scent. I picked this one up and I am, have begun testing it out this morning on my body. I had never heard of this brand. Let me know, have you heard of this brand? It was at Ulta called Vacation Mineral Lotion Broad Spectrum SPF 30. It is a non-nano zinc formula sunscreen for long days by the pool. It is water resistant up to 80 minutes, 3.4 fluid ounces, and it's 20% zinc oxide, which is fantastic. I'm looking at the ingredients on the back. It is moisturizing. The second ingredient is aloe, and the third ingredient is shea butter. And it does come out white, but I'll wait to do a review on this one because this is, I've never heard of this brand, but I did put it on this morning. Now, I was curious, this is fragrance free. I got their classic lotion, which is a chemical sunscreen, broad spectrum, spectrum SPF 30, and it says that it has the scent of summer. It is also water resistant for 80 minutes, 3.4 fluid ounces. It's a slightly different color. So this one is like a blue and this one is kind of a teal green color. This does have avobenzone, ben homosalate, octosalate, and octocrylene, but it said that it had the scent of summer and I was kind of curious as to what it smells. Although I have not been able to smell things correctly lately. Let me peel off the lid. I'm just wanna know what this smells like here. My smeller has been off. Oh yeah, it smells like the beach. It smells like, like bananas. Ooh, I like that. Mm. That's good. I wish that this scent was on the mineral. I know most people like fragrance free, but I love a good scented sunscreen on my body. So I mean, I'm, I'm definitely gonna be testing this one out. This one smells yummy. It smells almost like the runts, the runts bananas. Two more left. I picked this one up, the Hawaiian Tropic Matte Effect Mineral Enriched Sunscreen Lotion SPF 50 Plus, non-greasy and lightweight. It says it's brand new, reef friendly, six fluid ounces. You know me, I love a matte. I love a matte effect. This is body. This is a hybrid sunscreen. So it has it has the physical and the chemical SPF in it. 7.3% zinc oxide. It is made without oxybenzone and it is water resistant up to 80 minutes. Mattifies your skin, leaving it non-sticky and non-greasy, which I love. Wonder if this one has a scent. I can't smell this one. I was wondering if it had like the typical. It does have a scent. And I'm thinking it's stronger scent than I smell it. I think it has that traditional Hawaiian tropic scent. Again, my nose is not working quite right. But I'm excited to try this one all over my body because it's a hybrid sunscreen. Me again. <laughs> Popping it. Because I just realized there was another sunscreen that I repurchased in April. And it's a repurchase and I forgot to share it with you. It's in my closet. 
in our bucket of sunscreens because we've already been using it again. This is the Aveeno Protect and Hydrate. It's chemical sunscreen for face, but we use it for body and face. Sweat and water resistant 80 minutes, two fluid ounces. We love this. This is a repurchase and we absolutely, absolutely love this. I've been using it on my daughter and it's great for just reapplication, so. And then the last one, I think it's gonna be more of like a BB or CC cream, but with sunscreen in it. And I was impressed with the high SPF. This was expensive, but I did get it in the Sephora sale. So I got a percentage off of it, which is the only reason I purchased it. It is a hybrid sunscreen within a foundation. BB CC cream. It's it's like it's a cushion foundation. So it's the Dior Dream Skin Fresh and Perfect Cushion with sunscreen SPF 50. I'm not going to open this up right now because I'm not ready to use it. It has 4.15% titanium dioxide, 9.8% zinc oxide, and 7% octanoxate. I got it in the shade 010, which was the lightest shade, I think. So let me know if you have tried this and what you think. Let me know if you are familiar with the Vacation brand, which I am not familiar with. And if there are any sunscreens that you have seen that you would like for me to try, let me know. I am currently looking for more of matte sunscreens because we're getting into the humid summer months here in South Carolina. This may be my only video this week because this video is very difficult to film. I'm still having to blow my nose. I'm still coughing. I'm still sick. I'm gonna post this on my birthday. Today's my birthday when you're watching this. Happy birthday to future me. <laughs> I'll see you in my next video, bye.